What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from SamDiego.com and today another very exciting Samsung video and sometimes when I say that, it's honestly not that exciting. But today we actually have the goods. Last night while I was sleeping, my team at Sammy Guru was working around the clock to finally bring you guys an exclusive first look at One UI 8.5. Now, if you guys follow Samsung One UI software leaks and if you follow our channel and your web our website, you probably do. Uh, the other day, One UI 8.5 got its first test build on Samsung servers. And of course, a lot of enthusiasts, developers, and of course, media like us, were trying to grab that build and install it on their devices to get a preview of Samsung's next operating system. Now, I know some of you haven't even got One UI 8 yet, and if you have got One UI 8 yet on this S25 series, which rolled out this week, we did make a cool video on first 10 things to do there. But of course, being a media outlet, we wanna stay on the very cutting edge of what Samsung is doing. And so we wanted to bring you guys this look. Luckily, we were able to get a first look via uh, DevCore, who is a One UI developer modder on Telegram, shared this with us, and we were able to get some screenshots of the settings page. So first of all, let's take a look at this first screenshot here, which is the build number. This is a build that ends in CYIA, and you can see it has the September 1st, 2025 security patch. Now this is an S25 build that he did port, I guess, to his S21 Plus to make it work. We also tried to install this build on our Galaxy S25 Ultra International model yesterday, but it wouldn't fully boot. So we were still working on trying to get this to boot for us. Um, and probably a lot of others as well, but some very clever people, including DevCore, uh, who obviously have a lot more development skills than we do with this, with One UI, they were able to get this up and running by making a few modifications. Now, moving right along, we can take a look at the settings page here. If you go to the settings page, you'll notice that Samsung has redesigned quite a few things here when it does come to the settings page. We've got essentially a lot more floating menu design type look kind of like Apple has going on with the liquid glass. Now, it doesn't really have a liquid glass look per se, I wouldn't say, to the settings tiles. The search bar has been moved to the bottom, but you do definitely have some changes here. And you can see we have more compact menu items, removing the subtitles. Uh, like I said, the search bars at the bottom, there's an overflow gradient there on the top and bottom edges. And there's also drop shadows on all the containers and that search bar that's at the bottom. So Samsung has fundamentally changed some things here, even with the settings menu. If you move along and you look at the expanded settings, so if you click into the search, you can see they've slightly changed the way the topics show up there. The topics now show up with a three column look. And this isn't massively different from One UI 8, but it's a small change there. Perhaps the largest change and the area where you can see the liquid glass or iOS 26 design influence somewhat uh, is if you go into an actual menu item. So if we take a look at the actual menu item there, you'll notice that the back button at the very top in this screenshot shows that it's actually got this floating menu look just like you have with iOS 26. So if you go there in software information, you see that back button at the top, it kind of floats above the rest of the content in that particular menu. Again, you've got those drop shadows and gradients as well that also give it more of that iOS 26 look. Now, I do commend Samsung for not fully copying the design like some Chinese OEMs have done because they didn't really use the liquid glass in the sense of the glass effect on the menus, but who knows if they might do that. Um, I don't think this looks particularly bad. It doesn't look anti-Samsung. I will say we have seen some other screenshots which we haven't been able to share yet. We've been working with some other people who are getting this up and running on their devices and uh, trying to share more information as we can get it. And those screenshots do show more iOS 26 inspired design, not full on liquid glass, but there's definitely a lot more of that floating element um, floating above, you know, little menu items like that back button. There's even more of that in those screenshots in addition to some extra features that we've seen that hopefully we'll be able to share very soon. I really think One UI 8.5 is going to be a fairly large change compared to One UI 7 to One UI 8 was very minimal. There wasn't a lot of changes uh, because of course One UI 7 was a massive redesign. Don't think it'll be as big as One UI 7, but we're gonna get a lot of new AI features and apparently Samsung is determined to head in this direction of at least borrowing some elements 
from iOS 26. Anyway, make sure you check out the website, set us as a preferred source on Google News and Google Discover, follow the YouTube channel. We'll be bringing you a lot more One UI 8.5 leaks. We also just dropped our guide on the Galaxy S26 Ultra, everything you need to know where we rounded up all the leaks there. You can also get in our mystery box program. Uh, if you're gonna order the S26, you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, 65 watt charger, screen protector, and other randomly inserted goodies just for ordering through our affiliate link. That's how we fund the program and we ship everything to you guys at no extra charge to you. Check all that out below in the pinned comment description and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.